everyone, I'm Chris from Rustic Rabbit and welcome back to the channel. Now if you're new to our channel, we provide guidance for the average family to grow your own food, raise your own meat, do all that right there in your backyard, and then we take you into the kitchen and we show you what to do with it, you know, make it into something really special. So if you started raising your own meat, uh, whether it be quail, uh, you know, rabbits, you know, whatever it's going to be, there's a basic life skill of processing that, you know, skinning it, you know, gutting it, getting it ready to uh, bring into the freezer, bring into the kitchen. If you don't know how to do that, that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna show you how to process a rabbit. Okay, so if you're raising your own meat, the unfortunate thing is it doesn't magically process itself and jump into the freezer. So today is, uh, it's the day we gotta do it. So here we go. Okay, so after dispatch, I hang it up and I wet it down real good because that stops the hair from getting all over the meat while you're processing. Then I start with cutting the, the uh, ears off as close to the skull as possible. Just kind of scalp it because uh, you can dry those out and they're great for pet treats. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is just pinch the skin on one of the hind legs enough to where you can make a small incision. Be careful not to cut through the muscle or any of the tendons because that could uh, leave you in a bad spot. Okay, so do that for either side, just enough to get your finger in there and pull down. You can actually tear the skin on these fryers because they're, they're so fragile uh, being so young, that skin is so thin. Uh, so once you've pulled it down on either side, you can actually bunch up that fur between them, you know, separate it from the muscle, uh, just stick your finger through there and just kind of create an opening. Pull it back and be really careful, get your knife in there and actually cut it apart so you can pull it down. Now, if you have a, uh, an older rabbit with a thicker skin, you're not gonna be able to do that. You're actually gonna have to use your knife and cut an incision down towards the belly from either side. Okay, so that fur you just cut. Now grab it and pull it between the legs over the tail uh, and down the back. And then once it's on the other side, now you can just grab either side uh, firmly and just pull it straight down and it should come off like a glove. Okay, so that next step, you know, grab the hide and pull down as far as you can. Specifically on each front leg, you wanna pull it down to the ankle just below that last joint. And then get your shears, your bone cutters, whatever you're using and kind of cut through those and separate it. Uh, so the only thing keeping the hide on the body still is just the uh, the head. So you know, go ahead and cut right there through the neck area. Uh, when we dispatch, we dislocate right there, and so we don't even need uh, any kind of shears. It just kind of cuts right through. Okay, so if you have any of the fur that, that got stuck on the tail, you can go ahead and cut that off now or get your shears and, and just cut the tail off altogether. Um, and then give it a good wash down because you're about to open everything up. Okay, now that you made everything clean, you know, wash down the animal, uh, wash down your, your hands, your, your tools, everything, your knife. Um, and we want to kind of start like we did with the legs when we were separating the hide. You know, pinch that skin where the stomach is and pull it away and make a small incision with your knife, just big enough to kind of get your finger in. Once you get your fingers in there, you can kind of pull, pull it away from the body uh, and spread it uh, and then cut vertically north and south right along this, the seam that you can see on the belly. Um, it's, you don't have to go all the way up, you don't have to go all the way down, just you want some room to work with. Yeah, you know, go all the way down, I usually stop right at the breastplate where it, where it meets there, uh, and then you can kind of spread everything open and see what you're working with. So the first thing you're going to see there is the bladder um, at the top. Make sure you don't puncture that, uh, and what I like to do is just kind of pinch it um, so, you, so it doesn't leak and just pull it out. Uh, that way you don't get any urine all over your meat. Okay, so if you're saving any organs like the kidneys, uh, now's the time to do that. They're on either side, um, right along the stomach wall. You just kind of pull them right off. Uh, they're like not connected to anything. Okay, so everything else should pull out together. It's all connected all the way up to the diaphragm. Uh, so again, a lot of people like to save the liver. So once you pull everything out, you can kind of carefully like, you know, uh, hold the liver and, and pull it apart from the intestines and everything else and drop everything else. Uh, and the only thing from the liver you have left is the gallbladder. So rabbits actually have a pretty decent sized liver for their size. Uh, <laughs> they must handle their liquor well. Uh, but this little black piece right here that you're looking on the picture, uh, that's the gallbladder. You want to get that. So just, you know, pinch it uh, with your fingers and just kind of pull it out and, and make sure you throw that away uh, if you're going to save the liver. Okay guys, the only thing left is the, uh, the diaphragm and, and everything on the other side of it. So, you know, grab uh, that, that diaphragm, like you pinch it and just kind of rip it out. Uh, and then on the other side, the first will be the lungs. So pull those out. Uh, and if you reach a little bit deeper in there, you'll, you'll feel the heart. And you can kind of grab that with two fingers and kind of pull that out as well. Okay guys, we're just about done. So 
I usually take this time to, to again wash down the animal, uh, especially on the inside, spray that cavity, you know, where the heart and everything was. There's usually a lot of blood in that area. So I rinse everything out real good, uh, make sure there's no hair or anything uh, on the outside. And then all that's left to do is just kind of, you know, finish up the hide uh, on, the, on the hind legs and get it to where it's beyond that last joint uh, and then you clip. So this can be a little tricky because right where the hawks are, they seem to really attach well. Um, and so you kind of just have to work it um, and, and kind of, you know, trim very easy. But try not to cut those tendons because th that'll just, it'll ruin the presentation of that, of that cut. So get that skin up above that last uh, joint, uh, use your shears, cut it, uh, and then you're good to go. Okay, so just uh, give everything a good rinse and then put it in the refrigerator for a day or two uh, covered. Let it rest for a little bit before you go to freeze it. Hope this helped. If you have any questions or comments, just leave it down below and don't forget to subscribe. Uh, and as always, God bless.